Hello guys, welcome officially to the vlog. Today is going to be a short video. I just wanted to give you a little update on my new approach to my writing sessions. I have been taking it really slow. That is basically part of my morning routine. I've been doing my yoga and going for a walk and just trying to get my steps in. And I've just been really, really focused on taking it easy. And there's a really specific reason as to why I've been taking it easy. And I am not going to be so strict on my writing schedule going forward just because I want to really make sure that not only am I writing when I'm inspired to write and not only that I'm not going to stress about when I publish this next novel and it's all because of recent events that have occurred that have popped up in my life as you can tell right here I've been having really high blood pressure and it's been happening for a while I just thought that it was a thing of going to the doctors because every time I go to the doctors I get really nervous and so my blood pressure is really high so then we got a blood pressure machine to monitor it at home and I still get nervous the minute we shopped for it when we were shopping for the machine I got nervous so it's really really high and it's not doesn't come down on its own no matter what I'm doing right now so I'm going back to the doctor and just seeing what they recommend this has been the case for a while now so I'm not like I am concerned because it's really high and I can't get it to calm down like when I'm trying to relax so I'm nervous but if you guys have read my book enough I touched on that a little bit not about the high blood pressure but the fact that I've gone to a cardiologist and I've gotten my I've done a stress test I've worn a heart monitor for 24 hours I've also um, had an EKG last year when I got my physical because my blood pressure was so high but the doctor said that you know my heart looked good it didn't seem like you know my high blood pressure and my problem with my heart were connected so he confirmed to me that it seemed like it was anxiety but nevertheless it's still as you're going to see here it's still really high and I can't get it to come down on my own and this is actually a lower reading that I normally get so I'm decided this afternoon I decided to go to the pool and just relax start you know I'm, I just got this book it's a Christmas book that you guys I mentioned in my last video i'm trying to just get an even more inspiration for my christmas novel that i'm writing but it actually we didn't stay there very long but it was a nice relaxing afternoon because the rain was rolling in so we had to go in and then come home pretty quickly but after that i ended up taking a shower we cooked dinner we had dinner we relaxed and then i sat on the couch and decided to see how many words i could get down and within a half hour, I ended up getting a ton of words down, a ton, like more than I had sitting down the other day for hours on hours. I mean, I didn't get the 2000 words, but that's part of the, the whole reason why I'm now taking it slow. If I don't get to publish this book this year, I've decided that I'm okay with publishing it next year because I don't want to add any more stress in my life and honestly being a self-published author you are in control of your publishing schedule and if I can write the novel and not stress about it in the next couple months and finish it great I'll do it but if I have to stress over it I'm not going to do it because my health comes first and I don't I want it to be a fun experience and there's no need for me to rush and publish this novel just because I want to, just because I want to publish two books this year. No big deal. I'll publish it next year if I don't get it done. I'm certainly not going to rush it and I'm certainly not going to stress over it. So I wanted to record this video just to give you a little insight of what it means to be a self-published author and to be able to switch your mind as to when you're writing how much you're writing and when you decide to publish if you guys want more writing inspiration make sure you watch this video next because in this video i talk a lot about a different approach if you want to just make sure that you write something quickly and you publish it quickly that video might inspire you to do that or take that approach instead so like I said it is a short video but I just wanted to share a little insight as to how things change from week to week as a self-published author and as you can see I got 995 words that day and by now I'm already at 20,000 words so I've been doing pretty good that's it you guys I'll see you again in a brand new video next time